Hey guys, Jeff here with Mitsubishi Cooling and Heating. Welcome to another episode of Tech Tips. Today, we're going to be taking a look at how to remove a blower wheel on one of our wall-mounted units. The first step we'll need to take is to remove the front cover of the indoor unit. You'll find there are several screws on the bottom of the unit you'll need to remove in order to get the cover off. The next step we'll want to take is to remove or lower the drain pan. This will give you much better access to work with the blower wheel and its surrounding parts. The drain pan is not physically attached or secured to the unit. It's simply held in place by tabs on the bottom left, right, and in the middle. The next step you'll want to take is to loosen the set screw that holds the blower wheel onto the blower motor. You'll find this on the far right side of the blower wheel. If you spin it, you'll eventually find an opening where you can insert your screwdriver. The last step requires you to remove three screws on the left side of the evaporator coil. Once these screws are removed, you can simply lift the coil out towards you and then grab the blower wheel and pull it out. Now that we've got the blower wheel removed, here's a couple things to keep in mind. When cleaning the wheel, avoid using chemicals. I'd recommend sticking with good old fashioned water. I use a water hose and a nozzle. The second would be, try not to lose the bearing that's located on the left side of the blower wheel. And the third is to locate the set screw that holds the blower wheel onto the blower motor. The set screw has no dedicated spot or commonly referred to as a flat spot on the blower motor. This helps when putting it back together. You don't have to worry about where it's aligned. And lastly, to reassemble it, just reverse the steps we took to remove it. For additional information, please feel free to visit our website at www.mylinkdrive.com. If there's any videos you would like to request in the future, please feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for future episodes of Tech Tips and Homeowner Help.